And welcome back to the Yes Longevity Podcast, where we give you insight on how to get fit, feel younger, and live better. Hi, I am Chris Borda, owner of Yes Fitness. I want to thank you for taking some time this afternoon to listen to what I have to say. I got some really good stuff for you today, taking a little bit lighter than we have recently. Um, I'm going to give you four things that you can do today, right here, right now, to change your life so that you'll be able to improve the possibility of living a longer, healthier life being able to enjoy those extra years. So I'm going to give you some four tips in just a few minutes. But before I get to that, I do have a little bit of housekeeping and a few things to talk about. So we've been open just about a week now. It'll be a full week tomorrow. It is just fantastic to see everyone back into the gym. Um, no, we're not at capacity yet. You know, still people dribbling in here and there, starting up. And Um, to get started if you wanted to get started. So, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, Fourth of July is coming up. We want to start talking about that a little bit. We are going to close at noon on July 3rd, so we're going to be open in the morning. Everybody can get in there in the morning. If we need to add some groups or add some classes, add some sessions, we're more than happy to do that. We'll get the workouts in. I know for months and months and months, for three months, we weren't able to get them in, so we want to make sure that we can fit everybody free coaching at our coaching center at any of the services that we offer so whether you want to do semi-private or private or uh, I should say some private or group training this will be on us for one month and the winners are one last time Kathy Coyle Kathy Coyle you did an awesome job I believe you had 290 points my internet has been down most of the day so I wasn't able to check to see exactly but I think you were at about 290 points that's a terrific job uh, you stayed on it every single week, and I'm really proud of you for doing that. And I believe our top winner, person who had the most points, is Laura Austin. Laura Austin, yes, Laura Austin. It was you. I think you had 310 points, if I'm not mistaken. You also did a fantastic
number one things that you can do that is not on today's list. So here we go. First thing is you can do, you can eat oatmeal for breakfast. Yes, oatmeal for breakfast. A healthy breakfast option may more critical for good health than you actually realize. In fact, scientists believe starting with the right meal can add years to your life, and you're going to see why right now. So according to a study from Harvard University, a bowl of porridge in the morning is the way to go for a lengthened, lengthened lifespan. Researchers drew the conclusion following the biggest ever study into the benefits of whole grains. sugar. Having oats in the morning will help you feel fuller for longer and in turn make you less likely to snack on high sugary foods throughout the day. So get that bowl of porridge in, in the morning, right? Number two, let's dance. dance. is fantastic for your body. For centuries, dance manuals and other writings have lauded the health benefits of dancing, usually as physical exercise. More recently, Study physical activities like playing tennis or golf, swimming, bicycling, dancing, walking, walking for exercise, not just strolling, and doing housework. Of all the surprises of the study, it was almost none of the physical activities appeared to offer any protection against dementia. There can be cardiovascular benefits, of course. We're not talking about the heart.
What that is, is scientists propose that these persons are more resistant to the effects of dementia as a result of having greater cognitive reserve and increased complexity of neural synapse. Like education, participating in mental engaging lowers activities, lowers the risk of dementia by improving their neural qualities. They believe cerebral cortex and hippocampus, which are critical to these activities, are remarkably plastic and they rewire themselves. Years. It's going to help lower your blood pressure. Are you one of those millions of people who have suffered from high blood pressure? Sex can help you lower it. Many studies have documented a link between intercourse specifically, not masturbation, can lower systolic blood pressure. The first number that appears on the blood pressure test, so 120 over 80, the 120 number, right? That's good news for individuals looking for an easy adjunct to lifestyle diet, exercise, stress reduction, and medication strategies to get blood pressure into a healthy range. Sex sessions cannot replace
We've had three so far, right? The last one is don't shy away from having some garlic. So the supplement aged garlic extract can reverse the buildup of deadly plaque in arteries and help prevent the progression 